Hi guys, it's Chris with City or Homestead, and it's time for Thankful Thursday. So, if you're coming in, I appreciate you very much. So, I kind of know what I want to talk about today, but I don't, and so I'm going to be blubbering at it like usual. So, <laughs> but I did have two verses that I picked out that I thought would fit for today, hopefully. The first one is Philippians 2, 3. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Romans 15, 2. Each of us should please our neighbors for their good to build them up. So, I kind of wanted to talk about appreciation today and... Um, I don't know how to explain it. But, you know, I think that... You know, like in our friendships, our relationships, our marriages, our family, whatever. Sometimes I think that we take for granted that because they're family or they're friends or whatever, they're just going to be there forever. So that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. So let's go start in prayer. Heavenly Father. I thank you for each and every person that's here today. Even if they just pop in, even if they're not believers, I appreciate each and every one of them. I ask that you continue to wrap your arms around each and every one of these people that come in here so that you can protect them. I know that right now there's a lot of stuff going on right now and it's causing a lot of stress in this world and with our own selves. So if you could please help us to get through that, maneuver through it, and know in the end, you win. So no matter what happens, we know you win. And so if you win, so do we. I ask that, you know, if the finances are getting tight, or, you know, just stress, just emotional, physical, mental, all that, please just wrap your arms around them, lift them up when they need to be, carry them when they need to be carried. Teach us to be more loving, more appreciative, more generous. And I don't mean just with money. I mean with our time and our, our affections, etc. I know that you're with us always and ask and you shall receive, even though you know all of everything that we need. I ask you to stand along with us as we do with you. And know that we love you from with all of our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So, I got um, strawberries yesterday. <laughs> so, I was trying to think about what to do with them. And, you know, because um, I chopped up all the, uh, I call it must mowing. <laughs> Everybody says it's something else, but that's what I grew up on. It's called must mowing. <laughs> So, you can call it whatever you want. So, I was thinking I wanted something a little bit on the healthier side. And something that, you know, um, what I was going to make today, <laughs> I might make next Thursday. Because I still want to make it. You know, when I think of things that I need to use up, um, that's how come I think of some of the recipes. Like, what I was going to make today, I've got an abundance of apples that I need to use up to make room in my refrigerator and then I have you know that um pie crust that I need to use up just things like that that I think about you know that I should be doing <laughs> and using up because I don't like anything to go to waste so what I'm gonna do is some yogurt covered strawberries and this is what I had left of my um Greek yogurt so I'm just gonna mix it with the regular yogurt I think that should be okay if I can get the lid off of this, it would be even better. And you know what's even better about this yogurt? It was free. <laughs> I got a coupon for it. And so I went to Meyer and I used it. And now I have free yogurt. Because I use yogurt in Tom's lunches every week. I do that and fruit. I'm just going to stir it and then I'm going to use my little whisk here so that I can get it even better so what I was thinking is you know 
a lot of times, you know, like in our marriage, when's the last time, you know, if you're a girl, you know, if you're a guy, whatever, when's the last time that you said to your husband, man, I really appreciate everything that you do for me. I appreciate, you know, you working so hard for me. I appreciate you loving me and the kids the way that you do, our grandkids, whatever it happens to be. When's the last time you said that? You know, men, when's the last time that you said to your wives, you know what, that's an amazing meal, and, you know, I don't know how I'd survive without you. <laughs> I'm just saying, you don't have to say that, but you know what I mean. So I was trying to decide on these strawberries how to do this. So I know I'm going to cut the ends off. And then I thought, should I cut them in, in full pieces? Or should I cut them in half? I don't know. You guys can tell me later. But <laughs> I thought if I cut them in half, so when the grandkids come over tomorrow, maybe I can get them to try one. And it won't be such a big piece. Now these are something I definitely think you have to keep in the freezer. You know what I was thinking? And I know it sounds really stupid. But do they ever make like a fruit broth or something like that? Just an idea. So I'm going to cut these in half. I guess I made my decision for myself. <laughs> All right. So with your friends even, you know, do they help you with daycare sometimes? Do they, you know, grab you lunch? Do they do anything like that that you feel like, you know what, I should thank them for that? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke this. I'm going to poke that in just like that. I don't want it on too thick. That didn't work very well, did it? <laughs> Whoa, I completely lost it. Maybe just shaking it off would be better. That works better. <laughs> if I can keep that on there, it would be great. <laughs> So, or like you people that, you know, your moms are still alive or your dads are still alive. Do you ever call them up and say, you know what? I don't know how I got through this big old life without you. You know, and sometimes, like, I know my grandmother's dead. I'm not crazy. <laughs> um, I tell her still to this day, you know. Like, thank you for always believing in me. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for being my, what I consider my savior in my childhood. You know, thank you for that. I will always be grateful for everything that she ever did to protect me, to stand up for me. And I will never, ever, unless I get you know, some kind of disease that makes me forget things. I'll never forget that. You know, there's friends that, you know, you ever hear the saying, everyone's here for a, a season or every, something like that. But anyway, and I think that's true. I want to put a little bit on that one. Did you see how it like totally just came off there? There we go. All right, you don't need to watch me do all these. I'll be right back. All right, so I got them all coated. And I'm going to, it says to put those in the freezer for 30 minutes. It does say you can dip them a second time, but I'm not going to because I'm actually going to do something different with it. So hopefully it works out. And this is what I did with the leftover yogurt that I'd mixed up. 
This is what I do with Tom. I'll put fruit in the bottom and then I'll put yogurt on top. So let me put this stuff away and then I'll be right back. All right, I figured while we're talking, I will get this last one done and I'm just going to slice them up in a bowl. So anyway, like I was talking with my gra about my grandma, you know, um, I think that we get so busy in life, we forget to stop and smell the roses. Well, I don't want to smell roses. I think they stink, but you know what I mean? Um, I love how roses look, but I don't like their smell. <laughs> Although, you know, they used to have that, that perfume for those of us that are getting older. Roses, roses from um, Avon, if you guys remember that. I'll tell you, my favorite, I love that they had that um, carnations. And they had it in a cream, too. And I'll tell you, I search Little Dusties all the time. Because a lot of times they'll have Avon bottles, you know. And I search through every one of those bottles online <laughs> to see if there's a carnations one. Because I love that. Oh, my gosh. That was the best scent ever, and you can't get it anymore, so it's been obsolete for years. But anyway, appreciation and love and bringing people up. You know, like we've talked about when I've, um, I'm sorry, my nose itched. But anyways, we've talked about like when people leave me a nasty comment or whatever, and we just pray for them. And... You know, some people are just, they're just mean. Some people don't care what they do to your feelings or whatever. I haven't had any bad ones lately, so I'm not complaining about that. But like my neighbor, she called me yesterday, and she's trying to find a new job. And she's like, well, Tom should go over there. Well, it's second shift, and Tom will not do a second shift. Everybody wants him to get a job closer to town because he's gone so many hours. And I would love that too, but I'm, I'm not at the expense of him working a shift that he despises. I just, I can't. His happiness has to, to mean something, you know what I mean? And I know that he wouldn't be happy like that. So, anyways, you know, she said, well, you know, I'm applying and, and I used you as a reference. And I says, well, that's great. I'll tell them that you're the most amazing person in the world. And, you know, sometimes we need to bring people up. And they're having a rough time of it, too, you know. I mean, like today when I first went to the store, they didn't have all the sale prices um, calculated in. And so I'd seen this come up and that come up, and I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you know, my income has dropped in half and you know just like everybody else's I mean it's been rough I lost three more customers this week thank God not any big ones <laughs> but um you know I told the guy I said you know I really watch my pennies because you know groceries are such a big big part of our budget you know what I mean like you don't think so but if you ever sit down and think about how much you actually spend on groceries, it's a lot of your budget. And so I thought, you know, and he goes, it's okay, I understand. He goes, a lot of other people are in that situation too. And I said, yes, they are. But, you know, if you see a neighbor that's having some issues, you know, I mean, I don't know, I came from a small town. Everybody knew each other. And... You know, everybody looked out for us kids. Everybody did. Let me tell you what, you didn't, in Vestiburg, you didn't get away with anything. <laughs> because I had family on every street. They were cousins and stuff like that, but they were all older women that, let me tell you what, they didn't mind getting me in trouble, so you knew better. So, you know, you just didn't do it. <laughs> All right. But I think we've lost that. I really do. I think we've lost that, like, caring about each other and boosting each other up and appreciating. 
you know, like, I don't know, like the guy in behind us here, he was off for a while from his stomach and he came around, he has this brand new big snow blower he really likes and he came around the corner and he did all of us, you know, and you know, I mean, how can you not appreciate that? I mean, really, but I mean, maybe in the comments below, you guys that have been married for, you know, umpteen years, maybe you can, you can tell us, you know, what makes a successful marriage and did you have to do the appreciation things, you know, did your husband, did your wife, whatever, and I'm not basing it on relationships either, guys, me and Tom solid, <laughs> we're good, but even us, Sometimes we forget. Like I said to him the other day, do you know it's always me that tells you I love you first? He goes, no, it's not. And I'm like, yeah, it is. And so he hadn't thought about it. He was just so used to me saying it that he has gone above and beyond this week <laughs> to make sure he says I love you first. So it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. But you know, sometimes people don't know until you say something. I think, you know, being divorced once, I think that you have to learn so much from that. It's not always that other person. You know, it's not always just you. You know, it takes two to tango. And I think you learn from, at least I hope you do, <laughs> take time to heal and learn from, you know, what your part was. Because none of us are perfect, ever. But I just wanted to, you know, with everything that's going on, and it's a scary time right now. It really is a scary time right now. And, you know, I don't want to be fearful, and I don't want my children or my grandchildren to be fearful, or you either. So I think that we need to learn to bring a little sunshine. You know what I mean? Like, um... You know, if a guy opens your door at the gas station, thank him. You know, I seen something yesterday. Oh, it was the day before. At um, Sam's. And Jack and I had to pick up um, some eggs there. And then we were going to go over to Meyer. Yeah, so it was two days ago. Yeah. Whatever. <coughs> Anyways. So, this other guy was sitting there. He was parked in... He jumped out and he helped the lady load the car, you know. And so another girl came out and she was, and there was a lot of heavy stuff. So the guy jumped out and she goes, no, 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 I got it. Like that. And I thought to myself, you know, you should have let him help. Because sometimes we forget and we don't let men be men anymore. That's sad. I think a man really does want to help us. And us girls, you know, that we're married and we think, oh, are they ever going to get it? <laughs> they do get it. They do. They just don't know how to implement it sometimes. You know, I think that I read somewhere once that if a man truly loves you and he chooses you to be his wife, it's true love because a man just doesn't do that. And I think part of that's true. When we choose our friends, why do we choose them? Is it because they're like-minded like us? Or is there something about them that's just like so amazing? Or did we forget why we picked them as friends? Or they picked us as friends? And do we take for granted that they're still our friends? I have friends that are, you know, been almost 50 years. And... Matter of fact, Olivia, if you're watching, <laughs> hi. But, you know, um, it's funny. She watched my video yesterday. This was a way back one. And she said, Carissa. And I go, what? And she says, you know, I was watching your video because it was she wanted to do um, egg roll in a bowl because she had some stuff that she had to use up. And she goes, you were really, really sick of that video. And guess what? She goes, I'm really, really sick too. She goes, I've been off work two days. <laughs> Now, do we talk all the time? No. But can we pick up the phone and 
and talk to each other anytime? Absolutely. Do we love each other? Absolutely. You know, and sometimes we have to be that motivation. And if you're still listening, retire. <laughs> you know, I, we... I think we forget why we fall in love, why we pick a friend, why we love our neighbors, why we love God, why we, you know, whatever. We get so busy in the hustle and bustle that we forget about the little things, the little tiny things that meant so much to us. You know, what started our friendship, what started our love, you know, not all neighbors are you going to get along with, but you know, what started that relationship and how do you keep building on that relationship you know with as bad as everything's torn apart right now we need to start to appreciate each and every little thing that happens that's good for us you know I appreciate the sun rose I appreciate that my grandsons came this morning and and you know <laughs> I told AJ, I go, I love you. And we do this thing. I go, I love you. And he'll go, I love you too. And then, well, today I did it. And he goes, I love you more. <laughs> and I go, well, I love you a million. And he goes, I love you even more than that. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The daycare, she gets, she gets a kick out of it. But anyways... You know, I appreciate little things about them, too. And do we do we tell our little grandkids, you know, do we tell them how much we appreciate their, their love and how much, how, you know, like AJ says, reading's boring. So I'm having Ranger Rick sent to him, so maybe he'll like that. I don't know. He didn't like it when he was younger, but now he might. And uh, I got a really good deal, a year for 12 bucks for them. For me to come back. But anyway. What about our older grandkids? You know. They're going through a lot right now. Their world is different. Than what ours was. Their prospects. Might not be as good as ours was. I mean look at. My son in Tennessee. Pays $1,700 a month. For a one bedroom apartment. Christopher. And Aaliyah are moving into an apartment that'll be $1,320 a month. You know, I think back when I first got on my own and I got my first apartment, it was $175 a month. When I moved up north, I got a, was it a two or three bedroom trailer? I don't remember what it was. On 20 acres with another trailer, 175 bucks a month. You know, and so when I bought my own trailer up there, I if the guy goes, well, what can you afford? And I go, well, I've been paying 175 I go, okay. And no interest. You know, my first couple of homes I bought on land contract. You don't hear about that often much. So these kids are going into some really rough times too. So maybe, you know, as grandparents and parents, we need to, you know, appreciate them and nudge them a little bit and, you know, maybe send them in the right direction. Because no matter what time goes by, we're still going through the same stuff. It's just different and more expensive. I honestly don't know how. I mean, with my grandsons, I help in the morning and then they go to her, I think it's her niece, and she doesn't charge them as much. I mean, she still charges, but not as much. I mean, it's like 300 bucks for a, a baby, you know, and that's a cheap one. Like, how do people afford that? Like, when I did daycare, it was 75 bucks a week, you know. It's been a lot of years, but still, I don't know how these kids do it nowadays. I really don't. I don't know how they do it. But we need to learn to appreciate. We need to learn to love and to give honor to our our friends and family like what was that part of that verse I wanted to remember here do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit rather in humility value others above yourselves I've learned since dealing with the diabetes thing I've got to put myself somewhere in there because I need to take care of me 
to be able to take care of, you know, others. But how often do you put other people above you? Most of you probably do, because, you know, I've got a great community. But then this other one, each of us should please our neighbors for their good to build them up. You know, we need to do that. We need to build people up. We need to let them know that, you know what, we got your back, we're here. We may not be able to pay your bills or do this or do that, but golly, we've got you. You know, we'll do what we can do to help you. And I think that's so important. So I've rambled on again. <laughs> I kind of just, I knew what I where I wanted to go and whether I went there or not, I don't know. Hopefully I touched somebody and somebody understood what I'm trying to get through. <sighs> My brain's a wonderland of things. <laughs> I guess my thought is just thank somebody today. Be good to somebody today. Tell your husband, even though you drive me crazy, I love you like crazy. And you know what? Thank you for everything that you do. And men, tell your wives, hey, that was the most amazing dinner, even if it tasted like crap. That was the most amazing dinner you've ever made. I hope you make it again soon. <laughs> thank you for cooking that amazing meal thank you for everything that you do and if your wife's a housewife go you know what I could not do this without you and wives you couldn't do it without them so you know let's show our appreciation you know I tell my kids even though I need I know they need a babysitter or someone daycare I'm like well thank you for letting me spend the day with the kids <laughs> And they're like, sure, no problem. Whoops, don't watch that part, Courtney. But, you know, <laughs> but they feel like they're doing me a favor, which makes them feel like they're not, you know what I mean? So take that time today. I'll be back to show you what I'm going to do, but take that time today. Tell somebody you love them. You appreciate them. Do something nice. Smile. You know what? Let that guy open the door for you. I know that we've gotten to be so independent that some women, they'll be like, if a man opens the door, it's like, don't be like that. He is not trying to take your independence away. He just wants to open the door for you. <laughs> Let him be a man and be respectful. So I will be back. Hopefully I didn't step on anybody's toes with that one. <laughs> but anyway, I'll be back and show you what I am going to do as soon as these get froze. All right, so now we're going to finish these up. I took a little bit of chocolate chips and I melted them and added just a little bit of milk to it. I didn't get it quite thin enough, but that's okay. It'll work. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze them again and then I'm gonna put these in a little baggie well a bigger baggie in the beginning <laughs> and when we want a nice little sweet treat we've got a sweet treat without tons and tons of calories never said it'd be healthy but it'll be good And I'm sure I could have put this in a bag and made it go out a whole lot prettier and whatever. But I didn't really see that as a necessity. You're going to just pop one of them in your mouth. And it'll be a great little snack. Alrighty, so let's try one of these. I'll get a little tiny one here. Mmm. That's good. Mm-hmm.
Look at that. There we go. Mm. They're frozen and they're very cold. <laughs> I wanted to show you, I got all my dill dehydrated. And it almost spills a two-quart jar. <laughs> so I want to thank each and every one of you for being here with me today. You guys are the best. I appreciate you more than you know. And, you know, let me know in the comments what you need to appreciate more or how you go about your appreciation. And I love you guys. I really do. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure you hit that like button because that really does help push me out there. So you guys have a blessed day. Be a blessing. I love you guys. Have a wonderful day.